Hello everybody, I'm Thomas and welcome to another Solo Gaming Sunday stream. This week, Nature Edition, where I will be playing Three Sisters and Orchard, nine card solitaire games. I'll be playing this first uh, and I'll be playing this later. These are both really fun games, pretty short. Um, this one, super small box, it's only nine cards. And yeah, both really fun games. We're gonna start with Orchard and I'm just gonna kind of hop right into it. They're both, Orchard's really simple to explain so it shouldn't take uh, too terribly long. So let me get the dice and frame here. Something like, oh, messed it all up. Hold on, something like that. Got the rotten fruit there. So this comes with 18 cards. I basically just play in sets of two games. So what you do is you do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Take these nine, set them off to the side. Now you got one game ready and one game on deck. So to start out, all you do is place a card and then I'll set this kind of up here. And then I have a hand of two cards, which I'll just place, I don't know, down there. And the game is pretty simple in that I'm trying to get the most points. And how you get points is by overlaying matching types of fruit. So for example, you know, I got this, this yellow and this red up here. I could place this card like that. So I have like the yellow and the red going over the yellow and the red. And then that would put a yellow dice there and a red dice there. Now these dice, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. Um, they're not normal dice. They go one, then three, then six, and then they have a basket on them for 10. On the other sides, they just have some leaves for decoration. But those are the dice. So it's better a lot of the time to get, um, to increase dice rather than just placing new ones. But you obviously need, you need a dice out to be able to increase. So you wanna be doing a little bit of both throughout the game. So this is my starting hand. Um, let me take a quick look. So ideally, I don't think this is gonna be, I'm not gonna be able to get four. Can I get three? I don't think so. So this might be kind of a rough start. Um, I think I will, cause I have the double red, but then, so the other thing I have is these rotten fruit. So I can, if I wanted like, so the, the red red, I could put it over this red red and this, this yellow would match up with that, but then this purple wouldn't match up. I could do that, and then what I'd do is place a rotten fruit on there, and then I would get minus three points at the end of the game for the rotten fruit. Uh, I like saving those for when I have to use them. I mean, this would be a decent time, but having the rotten fruit, then you also can't place anything else on top of that, so it kind of, I don't know. It's just not a great idea in general. So, those are my two cards. I need to do something. I think I want to do something with the yellow and the red at the top. I don't know, I guess I'll use this card, but I don't know if I don't want to make like a long, I guess I, I guess I will. So I'll just make a long red line there, put those both there, and then I draw a new card. That's, that's, that's pretty much the whole course of the game. I'll just go through until these nine cards are up, tally up my points, and then it's pretty cool in the rule book in the back, there's a little chart to compare your score to. So I'll always play this game, like I say, I play it in sets of two. So depending on how long these games take, I'll probably play at least this game like four times, maybe more. We'll see how we're doing on time. Three Sisters also is a pretty short game. It depends how long I take with that. So I'll probably play that at least once, maybe twice. But yeah, I got a new card here. Um, this is a pretty good one because I can get a four. So I could place this right over here. Can you see that? That's, that's some good stuff right there. Doing those two yellow and a red some some good uh points right there for sure so this new card um hmm got the double purple but that doesn't do me any good there the double yeah that's not good hmm this is purple ba -ba 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 -bum. Probably not gonna get anything good off of these. Do I have a double red? I do. That wouldn't do me any good there or there. So I think this card is gonna be the way to go with this one. I would just like to increase stuff if possible. I could do like that going that way. Yeah, let's let's go. Let's increase these. So I haven't increased. I haven't increased uh, any dice yet. So I need to get that going. So this is my new card. Um, yeah, 
that's not gonna work there, not gonna really work that way. The red diagonals, kind of, no. That would almost work, except that purple I would need to take a rotten fruit on, which I don't think I wanna do right now. What do I wanna do with this? I got the yellow diagonals, but that's not gonna, yeah, no, that's no good. Hmm. I have the red and purple. Yeah, it's not, that's not anything. Um, yeah, that's almost something, but then that would need to take a rotten fruit there. Maybe I'll do that. Use my first rotten fruit. So I'll increase, let's see, increase that one and increase that one. Then I will whoop, get this all perfectly lined up. So I'll place a red fruit there, rotten fruit there. We're on our way. This is my new card. Um, got the double reds. I can't place anything on top of the rotten fruit now, so I have to kind of just work around that. Could go up here, not great. That's not lined up like how I want it. Red, purple, red, that's the wrong way around. I need, this is purple, red, purple. I need red, purple, red for at least this uh, side there. It's a yellow, red, hmm. I'm not seeing anything good. Can I, that's. Hmm. I'm just trying to, I mean, obviously, like I mentioned earlier, it's better to increase stuff if possible. So I'm trying to figure out what I can increase, which <laughs> not seeing too much. Um, Hmm. And I can't do that, can I? Oh, that would be a nice one. It's just those red and the yellows. Those, they're, the wrong, they're the wrong way around. Um, so I can't do that. I also only have a, I only have a limited number of each dice, so I need to keep an eye on that as well. Um, I'm taking a bit of time with this, my bad. I'm just not seeing any great options. So I'll increase this and place a new red. There, maybe I shouldn't have done that because I'm well on red now, but it's done. So this is my new one. Oh, is that good? Oh. That's a good one. This is a good one because I could place it literally right. Oh, no, I can't. It's slightly off. It's the wrong. It's oh, that's still not right. Dang it. I thought I could place it right there and nope. Nope, it's all alive. Hmm. Double purple, yeah, that's kind of a tricky purple. Hmm, purple red, no, that's not good. Purple with a red above it? Yeah, but that's not. Hmm. Well, I'm trying to see what's best. I'm not seeing much of anything here. Um, I really don't want to. Red, purple. There's nothing over here I can do. Purple, yellow. Is there purple with a yellow next to it? Could do that, that's no good. I think I need to just start some new ones. So purple and yellow, I'll just try to start some new ones. Which one of these do I dislike more? This one. But I don't know if that will work for my plan. Because I wanted to do purple and yellows up there. This one definitely would work. Can I not do prairie? Can I not do these anywhere? Um, okay, I'll just use this one, I guess. Go up here. Start a new purple and a new yellow. We're down to the last two cards. I can already feel this game is not going to be a good one. This is just a practice, you know, just the warm up round. So I got another double purple and it's just, or is this the same one? That's the same one I had. No, this is the one I just picked up, I think. Um, so double red. I could like almost do that, but then that's no good. That's no, no. 
The double purple, I really can't do anything with at the moment. At least with the purple. Maybe we'll get this one. So red, red. It's just, I, I could place it there maybe and then take another fruit. That would get me two, four, six, but then I'd lose three because of the rotten fruit. It's only a gain of three. I guess that's, that might be worth it. We'll, we'll go for it because I don't know what else to do. So kind of place that, something like that, and then a rotten fruit over there. And that leaves me with just one card left. Still have a decent amount of dice, so I could always place some new ones to try to get some extra points. Double purple, I don't think there's anything I could do with this double purple. So I just gotta think this edge maybe, the red, purple, yellow. Is that an edge somewhere? Red, purple, yellow. Not seeing it. <laughs> Not seeing it. Um, red, purple, yellow. Is this the same thing? Red, purple, yellow. What? Just a red and yellow, I guess. Is that the best I can do? I think so. That's not good. That's okay. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna have to take a red and yellow and start it with that. Okay. So let me bump down the lighting a little bit. I think it's making those yellow dice a little bit hard to read. This might be a little bit too dark. Ah, we'll see. We'll see. Let me know if this is a little bit too dark, but you know, hopefully you can see the yellow dice a little bit better because it looks like there was kind of a glare. Um, still, I'm, my whole lighting and camera stuff is always a work in progress. Hopefully by next week, I might be getting a new camera and that should help a lot, hopefully. Hopefully, but we'll see. Um, so adding this all up, we got one, two, three, six, nine, 12, 15, 21, 22, 28, 29, minus six, 23. That is such a bad score. Uh, what is a 23? That's, um, this is the lowest, the lowest option on there is pul poultry, poultry. So rough start, but hey, it can only go up from here, I guess. So let me put these dice uh, back over here and I'll use the other set that I have set off to the side. And it takes an extra second, but I always like putting the ones face up because like, I don't know. I'm gonna have to look for the one side at one point, so like, might as well just do it now while I'm not in the middle of the game. So we can do that. I'm gonna try to use less rotten fruit. I don't know, I feel like I just had a pretty rough start on that one and yeah, I just didn't overlap enough stuff. So set that off to the side, grab this other one that I had set from the beginning and then we'll just place one there. Hopefully that's a good starting card. Place the other rest up here. Get the dice a little bit more on the screen. And then uh, my two cards. Ooh, so right off the bat I could get a four. That's pretty good. And I could get a three. Wow, this is already a better starting hand. Um, I mean, I don't see what could be better than that because I don't think it's possible. There's no matching card, so you can't really get a six, at least until you kind of set it up yourself. So I'll do this um, and do those two there. Something like that. Purple one there, red one there. That, yep, just making sure I had that matched up. Sweet. That's a pretty solid first start. Um, Okay, that double yellow is unfortunately useless right now. So I think I'm gonna do, was I able to do this over here either? Or was it just this one side? I can do this. Can I do a red and purple down here maybe? And then use this one next. Well, let me, that's only two. Right now, everything else is doubles. 
with this setup any doubles no. well yeah well that's still a double okay i'll just do this do that there do a red and purple and see what i got next um i could put this in that center spot again but then that would mess up my whole plan or does that work No, that's going to mess up my whole plan. So it's either one or the other. I can get three that way. I could do that and get four. I mean, it's three against four. I think I, I'm glad I saved this and didn't do it yet. Because then if I would have had that here, then putting this over top of it would cause some issues with these two sides. So, all right. I'll just, uh, yeah, I'll bump up all these to three, three. Where are we at? Three. And the last three. Kind of maneuver that there. All right. We are on our way. Another double. Yeah, unfortunately, it's not going to be exactly like this one. I'm trying to just fix the spacing a little bit. There we go. Okay. So that one is kind of useless for now. I mean, not really, but... Double, I can't use the double yellows. The weird edge, not really. Red, purple, yellow. Um, no, yeah, these are not good. I guess I could, I could almost, yeah, that, no, that's what I was looking at earlier, right? And that still screws up with that side. Is there nothing else I could do with that? This seems like a good one. Purple, red, yellow. No, not not quite. Purple, what is this? Per red, red. Hmm. I think I might just need to start some new stuff or just extend this out. But then that's going to make these a lot harder to boost up more. Um, I'm going to do it. Let's just go ahead and do it. There we go. So now those are at six. Hopefully I can get those to ten. Um, we'll see. What was my new one? Was it this? Yeah, this is my new one with the the yellow diagonals. The purple diagonals kind of useless. The yellow diagonals also <laughs> useless. The edge is the edge good. Red, yellow, not red. Red, yellow. I'm not seeing much here. The purple, oh, it's just the, the one I just placed, of course. Yeah, right? The purple, oh, that's a four. Yeah, I'll definitely do that. <laughs> okay. It's gonna make this six uh, even more tough to get, but I mean, how could I not do that, right? There's only one card left in the deck besides the two I have in my hand. Um, I don't know. So I got double purple again. Can't really do it that way. Can't really do it that way. It's double purple with a yellow edge. Ooh, I could kind of do that. Should I do that maybe? That seems like a pretty good play. To bump these up to three and then place another purple and yellow right there. Maybe not, maybe I should focus more on increasing, but I don't know, I didn't see anything else I could really do. Oh, this is pretty nice. So I could go something like that. Can I go something like that? <laughs> yeah, I wish. Uh, where else do I have double reds? Pretty much right there. That seems like the move. What can I do with this though? Double yellows. I wish this is just the wrong way around. Also, it's because those are on the same side. And I already played that card earlier, so I couldn't play that one. Um, I mean, I could just place this one down. Where was that? Down here. That would get a couple of overlaps. Is there anything else I could do with this one? 
Wish I could do something with like that top. Yeah, that would need purple in the middle. Not great, not great options. So I think I will place this one in this corner to bump both of those up, right? And then I'll place a red and yellow. And got one card left. Um, I only have one red dice left. So if I place new stuff, it should only be a red one, but I don't have many options. Um, I probably need to use an edge. Is there a red purple edge? I could do that. That would get some increase. Um, what are my other edges? Red, yellow, purple. Not seeing that anywhere. Purple, yellow. It's the same thing. Okay, so I think up here is the best option. There and there. Okay. I feel a little bit better about this one. I didn't use any rotten fruit. Got a couple of sixes, so... Let's see what my score is. So 3, 6, 12, 15, 18, 24, plus 6 is 30, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. A decent amount better for sure. 40s I like to see. Uh, 40s puts me at tremendous. Oh, what can I say? Um, so yeah, that was we flew through those two games pretty quick. So I'll definitely play at least... Uh, two more here of Orchard. So get this dice situation figured out real quick as I put this away. Yeah, I really like this game. It's it's very simple, and it is. I mean, it has dice in it, but it's like one of the few dice games that you don't actually like roll the dice. You just are more using them as a as a little marker for your whatever your um how many fruit you have. Try to get this all lined up. Whoops, now it's like kind of off screen. There we go, and I get the last of these dice. So yeah, I'll shuffle these all up, do two more quick games, and then, yeah, probably hop to some Three Sisters. So get these all shuffled up. There is, I, I haven't got a chance to play it yet, but I have printed, there is a, a print and play sequel to this game called, oh, what is it called, Grove? I believe it's called Grove. And I actually do have it printed out, I just haven't gotten around to playing it. But I'm definitely excited to try it at some point. I mean, I really enjoy this game. It's very, you know, quick, simple, kind of beat your own score. Um, yeah, I just, I like this game a lot. So, so that's all I can very much, that's what I can say. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just double checking, I didn't miscount or lose a card or something like that. So. Yeah, I'll set these way over there for the next game. And this, I will shuffle up. And deal the starting card. Okay, and I'll deal my starting hand of two. Put these, I don't know, up there. You don't need to see them. And we can kind of start figuring out uh, what to do here. Hmm. I think the best I can do is three. I think the best I can do is three, because I could place that there, and then that's three on the side. Okay, I'll do it. So it seems like a decent start. If I can at least do better than two each time, I feel like that's pretty good. Uh, this is my new card. So it's double purple, uh, kind of useless. And then red, purple, yellow. Well, I kind of have that, but this way, yeah, that's not the correct. Not, not the correct way around. Um, so I got red, ooh, I do have red, red, purple on the bottom. Could do that, I could do that. I think I will. Or should I do this on the side first? Cause I just noticed it's another three. The issue is I'm gonna be expanding that more outwards and it's gonna make these harder to um, to upgrade, to, 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 to increase. So I'm gonna put this down here, increase this one. I'll probably still do that, but I'm gonna wait a hot second just to see what this next card is, because maybe it'll uh, change my mind. So it's, an, it's a double red, but let me get these a little bit more. Okay, um, double red, so that's not great. What about the edge part? Ooh. 
Where is that gonna? Hmm. Um. Now I gotta think about this. I also just. I lost whatever move I was just talking about. I completely lost it. I mean, I could do that on the edge. I think that was the one, because I just increased that. So I still could do that. Um, would adding this and screw up anything? Because then this would need to go on top of that. Yeah, that would screw up a lot. <laughs> so let me not do that. Um, oh, that's a three. And would that screw up stuff? Yes, it would. Yes, it would. But this is a three on this bottom portion. I don't know if that's better. I mean, I'd like to <laughs> want to increase that stuff. I, mean, I can't do that right now. Um, red and purple on the edge. What? How do I even? I could do that. And I can get three increases, but I'd take a rotten fruit. I don't want to do that though, but I want to increase that. I got the double. I really wish that worked. That would be really nice. Um, I got the yellow purple up there. That's no good. That's no good. Hmm. The red and red, that doesn't work there. So I still have a couple, like I could do that three there. I can also do this three there. Can I do any of these anywhere else? So I could do one there and like somewhere, one of these somewhere else. Yeah, these are not, these are just not the best cards. Um, I'll, I'll go with this one. So I'll increase this to a three. And then we got these that purple and yellow we get to add one on to. All right, we'll see what I can do with that. New card, double purple. Okay, I can kind of use this here. Do I want to increase the yellow and purple first? Would that screw everything up? Yeah. Well, if I were to do it that way, it would. <laughs> if I were to do it that way, it would too. Really? Yeah. Cause I'm an idiot. It's yeah. So yeah, I could still do that. That's not bad. I'll go ahead and do it. So that's a three. That's a six. What is that purple and yellow below purple and yellow new ones. Grab a new card. This is the new card, double yellow. Okay, could do that up there. What else we got? Double red. <laughs> That's some interesting stuff. We can do that. No, we can't. We can't do the double red. Whoa. <laughs> can I seriously do that there? Right smack dab in the middle over here. Are you seeing that? Like the, the red, red, the purple, purple, the yellows. That's a perfect match right there. That That's an increase of, I can increase all five of these and place a new yellow one. That's insane. Can I increase that before? Um, wow. Wow, okay, okay, I'm definitely doing that. Jeez, uh, so this one becomes a three, this one becomes a three, this three becomes a six, six becomes a basket, that's a 10, this becomes a six, let me, Get this pop down into place and then a new one up there. That is a crazy move. That's gonna get me some points. I'm super happy about that. Uh, here's my new card. I got some purple diagonals going on here, um, which I can put somewhere. Let me get this a little bit better. Okay. So we got purple diagonals. Where can I use those? Like up there? No, not really. The yellow diagonals anywhere? Not really. Pur 
purple, yellow, red, kind of purple, yellow. Hmm. What about the reds? Red. Okay, this card seems kind of useless. Um, I don't know. I double purples. Nothing I can do with that. Red, yellow, purple. No, sorry, that's red, purple. It's, it's worse. <laughs> um, this is just, just worse because it's not what I need. What was this one? Because this might have some good edges. Red, purple, yellow. So I could place that up top. That's just going to make it harder to get any of these at, at pretty much at any point, I feel like. I'd love to increase these down here if possible, but it'd be cool if I could do all three, but that's going to be a, maybe a tough ask. So maybe I should just try to get two. Can I do, I can't really do that. Yeah, no. I don't have a double yellow edge. Um, <laughs> I'm really thinking about this one. Yellow and red, I don't really have, I could do that. That's, that's lame. That's lame, I'm not doing that. Oh, <laughs> uh, didn't I have something that could go up top? Yeah, I could do that one up top. I don't love it, but I'm gonna do it. So make that one a three, add a red, whoops, add a yellow, and I'm on my last two cards now. Uh, this was the new card, so let's, let's try to plug it into some places. The purple, the double purple, um, not great there, not great there. The red part could go there. Not really, no, not really. So not 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 too much with this. It could go kind of here uh, and that could place a new red and a new purple and increase those. That wouldn't be bad. And I would just need to figure out, can I do, I can't. Let me do that, because that seems like a pretty good, because this could be another 10, this would be a 3, and then we got the red and the purple, which I still have some left. I still have uh, one red die left, so. One more card. Let me see what I can do with this to get as many points as possible. So I got a double purple. There's really no good double purples, right? That's been, there's this one, which I can't. There's that one, which I can't. So red, purple, yellow, that's just the edge I got. Red, purple. I haven't used any rotten fruit. I'm gonna try not to, but red, purple, yellow, yeah, that's like right there, but that's no good. Hmm. Red, purple, I also have a red and yellow edge, so that's not really great either. <laughs> red, purple, yellow. Not seeing much. Could do part partial edge like that, purple, yellow. But I only have one red die I can add, so I gotta keep that in mind. If I'm adding new stuff, it can only be uh, a red die. So I could, it could do something like that. Maybe that's not the worst. Increase that, add a red die. I like that. Let's do it. I don't really see much else better. That was the last card, so let's see. Um, let's see where I'm at here. So I got what is it, six, seven, eight, nine, twelve, fifteen, sixteen, twenty-six, thirty-six, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-seven, forty-eight. That's pretty good. Uh, forty-eight. That's in plum believable territory. All right, sweet. So let me put this away and we'll do uh, we'll do one more game and then I'll probably take a quick little break for a minute or two and then to get three sisters set up. So let me get this all put away, get the dice all set up for the last round here. Ba -ba 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 -ba. And there we go. So dice are now good. Get these out of here. Get this last set here. See how this goes. See if I can beat 
whatever that was, 48? That's pretty good. I think the most I've gotten, at least according to my BG stats, is 53, I think. And I think that I've always, I mean, every time I try, I always, it would be nice if I could ever get above 55. That's like the final territory. So I've gotten to close to perfect a couple times. That's in the 50 to 54. That's tough to do. I almost, I mean, I came pretty close with that last one. I was at 48, um, but we'll see. We'll see if I can get there with this last one. Just need some really good starts. Place it a little bit more like that and then do my two down there and that up there. And we are uh, we're on our way. So I got a red and yellow diagonal. Yeah, that's not good. Red purple. Oh no, <laughs> this is. Uh, I'm gonna have a terrible start, I think, because these are like duplicates, so that's bad. This card is just useless, more <laughs> pretty much. Um, I mean, it can get me like two or do something like that. That's pretty lame. This card, though, um, not much better. Because the whole sides are just kind of not what I need. That's that's off. That's yeah. That's not good. That's what I need, but I can't can't make it work. That's not good. This is a really bad starting hand. So which of these do I like less? And then that's the one I'm just going to use for two. Um, and then which way do I want to expand? So can I do something off of one of these? Purple. I don't think so. I need a new card. These cards are straight garbage. Um, all right, something like that. Purple, red. Just gonna do it. I have not seen much better options here, so. Please let this card be better. So I got a double, we got the double yellow. So I could put it something like that. Can I? Hmm. Okay, I'll do that. So increase this to three. Add a red and two yellows. Boom and boom. Draw on the new card. Double purple. Don't really have any double purple. It's got the double yellow. <clears throat> Which I have a double yellow here, but I can't really do much with. Double red. Could do something with that. Hmm. I mean, there is that double red play up top. So what, purple, yellow above it? If I were to try to do that, that would mess stuff up. Yup. I do, I could do something like that, but that would make this really tricky to, <laughs> to boost if I uh, start blocking it off more like that, which I don't don't want to do so I think instead because this card I'm not seeing many good plays with so I'm just gonna kind of waste it which I hate to do no I'm not wasting it I'm gonna be increasing too but um, yeah there's there's probably better stuff I could do with that so here's my new card let's hope it's a, a good one so it has a purple diagonal don't have many purple diagonals going on. What else? I got the red diagonal with the yellow and the purple. It's not super helpful. I could do it like down there. Huh. Where are the edges? I got what? Red, purple, yellow with this side. So I do have a couple of spots, but that's not good. Um, hmm. Yellow, red, purple. Also not seeing, like there's that, but that's not, hmm. Purple. I 
didn't, I don't hate that. That's adding two red and increasing a yellow. There was this up here, which is increasing the red. That's adding three. I mean, that's not a bad play. That's, that's a four. I'm gonna do it. So that's three and then we adding one of each. So purple, a yellow and a red. So this is my new card, double purple. Um, <laughs> okay, I'm not seeing too many good spots for that. I got the double red, not seeing much. And then I got the double yellow going on there. Um, yeah, I'm not seeing much at all with this card. Okay. So this card is probably my best bet for uh, what to play next. I mean, this this play wasn't terrible. That would add two red, increase the yellow, but then I'd be out of red dice. I mean, there's only, I have the two cards in my hand and there's two more in the deck. So not a crazy amount left, but it'd be pretty limiting to not add any more dice in the next like three rounds, I guess it would be. I don't know. The yellow, because I could place this, like I said, there, that would get me three, four, five points in total. <clears throat> but where else could I place it? I, I mean, these, the sides are pretty decent, but like, I don't see any, um, any matching color patterns that, uh, that work for that. So I don't know. There's the yellow, the red. Yeah. I'm just going to do, I'll do this, this play. So I'll bump this up to a six, add two reds, and hopefully that won't uh, come back to bite me. Cool. New card, who this? Um, got some yellow diagonals going on, some red and purple. Something like that, maybe. What else we got? Red diagonals, some purple and yellow. That's pretty close. The red diagonals there. I'd be screwing this up, this this red three, um, if I were to do that. That's a decent chunk of change because I'd basically be losing six points because I'd be losing this and getting minus three. So I'm not feeling that. <clears throat> Even though it would give me four, five, or no, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But then you have to minus that six. That's so only four points gained from a card. Not the best. So what do I use this one double card? Where was where was I looking for this one? Um Yeah, there's the double yellows up there. The double purples, I mean I could do that over there. Where else is there double purples? That's it. The double reds, I don't think there's anything good with that. Let me see. I don't wanna miss anything. And then double yellows, there's that and that, which isn't really that good. I could do that. That's probably my best bet. So place that, whoops, something like that. Place another yellow and um, onto my last two cards. So this is the one I just picked up. Got double purples, some red and yellow next to it. Interesting. That could be a neat spot if I had more dice there. That'd be really cool. Double red, or was this double purple? My bad. So what is that? That could go up here. Um, what else we have? The double yellow part. That's pretty good. That would be one rotten fruit, but that's a lot of increase. That's a good spot, I think. Let me make sure there's nothing better, but I don't, I don't know if it can get much better than that. Oh, whoa, up there's pretty good. <laughs> that would be no rotten fruit, an increase of two, <clears throat> two, 
and then that'd be three here, so five, six, seven, eight, nine. While this would get me four, five, six, six plus six, 12, that's also nine. So it's equal. <clears throat> so what would I do with this card maybe? Because if I can maybe do something on top of that or I think if I go up here, can I do something up there to like partially increase that? Because that'd be great. Maybe. So which one do I do? It's, they're, they're more or less the same purple. Oh, I don't have any reds to add. So even if I were to do this one, I wouldn't get the point for the red. So that would be technically one point worse. And that makes my decision a lot easier. I'm going with this one. So six, six, basket of 10 and a three. Plop those down there, take the rotten fruit there. And that's a pretty nice play, um, if I do say so myself. Down to the last card here. Purple, red, yellow. That's almost a decent spot, but I couldn't even increase that if I wanted to. Ooh. Four, eight, nine, 10. That's, that's a really good play, okay. Um, is right here going this way, right? So I go basket, basket. This becomes a six. The yellow gets a one, the bottom yellow gets a one, and the top one gets a rotten fruit. I think that's my final. Can I zoom in a little bit? Just so I could take stuff out of shot. Now let's take stuff out of shot. Okay. So let's see. I feel a little bit better. I have more rotten fruit out, but there's some uh, there's some high numbers in here. So let's let's see what this is. <clears throat> Get a quick drink here. <clears throat> before I do some uh, <clears throat> intense counting. One, two, five, six, 12. Wait, I don't know why I have five. Wait, five, six, 12, 22, 32, 33, 34, 44, 47, 48, minus six is 42. It's a little bit worse than last time. Still tremendous according to the books. So not terrible, I guess. Um, so yeah, that was, that was Orchard. I'm going to be back in a few. I'm going to clean this up, set up three sisters and yeah, I'll be back with that. Welcome back, everybody. Got three sisters set up here. I'll get this a little bit more adjusted in frame. 
and I will do a quick explanation of what's going to be going on in Three Sisters. So this game is called Three Sisters because it focuses around the three sister crops of corn, bean, and pumpkins. I think it's originally like maize, beans, and squash. But let me read, let me read straight from the book here. Um, so, yep, people grow these three crops in unison. So it just says, uh, this technique is called has been practiced by indigenous people for centuries to grow a trio of crops known as the three sisters, corn, beans, and squash. The corn provides a lay, lattice, lattice? Uh, for the beans to climb, the beans transfer nitrogen from the air to the soil, and the squash creates a natural ground cover that reduces weeds and keeps pests away. So that is what's going on there. Um, Jay and I are here watching in Chicago. What's up, Jason? I just uh, yeah just got done playing some orchard. And Jalen, what's up, Jalen? Um, yeah, I just got done playing some orchard. About to play some three sisters. So that's kind of the theme of the game is, yeah, you got these three sister crops. So we're, we're, we have this backyard garden going on here. So this is what they call roll and write, because I'll be rolling these dice, writing some stuff down. Uh, this is, I mean, Hadrian's Wall, I played that game a lot here on, on the channel. That's a flip and write, but it's a lot similar style to this. You know, you have the two sheets going through and doing stuff. So the AI I'll be playing against will be coming through my garden, wrecking my stuff. Um, I will be trying to kind of prevent that from happening, I guess. So not prevent it, but just, I don't know, deal with it and try to get as many points as possible. Um, there's lots of stuff going on here on these these pieces of paper. This one has the different gardening sections. So you have where the squashes on the side, you have the uh, perennials in between, the long stalks are the corn, the smaller ones are the beans. Uh, on the right sheet, Got the goods down here, compost, all your fruit, your apiary, and your shed. A lot of these are just different areas you can do stuff with. There's lots of combos to be had here. I was playing this earlier. I haven't got played this too terribly much. Um, I was playing this earlier though, and I'm gonna try an interesting combo. I was thinking about trying is maybe trying to focus on the goods. It seems like with the goods, there's a lot of potential for combos. So I would only mark down over here. Like I'm gonna try to go for like the wheelbarrow the first thing of, of my shed, then go for the rain barrel, the fancy labels, and finally try to get the new tractor. So that's kind of like my, I don't know, my progress path ideally in the shed. I wanna to try to get maybe one spot of those in each as soon as possible, because um, like I said, the farmer, the AI will be trying to mess with that stuff as we go along. This game will be played over the course of eight rounds. On the rounds that are odd, I go first. Rounds that are even, the AI goes first. How it works is let me, Get this a little bit shot. I'll roll these four dice here. I group them up by type and I arrange them on this board here, going around in a circle. So we got two, three, four, boom. Then Farmer Edith moves to the spot kind of outside of the die and that's where they're chilling. So now we're at the start of a new phase or new round, I guess. I'm first, I could pick any dice and how it works is whenever you pick a dice, you get to have basically two things you do. You always take the garden action um, when you take a dice. So if I were to take this four dice, it either means I could plant two crops in the four section, or I could just water all the crops in the four section. That's the garden action is doing one of those two things. And then anytime you take a dice, you also take what's the rondel action. So each of these dice kind of on a spot here, this board is it's a little bit, um, I guess I can't really zoom in too close on it. It's a little bit messy, but yeah, like this one is like shed time. So you get to take a shed action. This one is compost and four goods. So you get to do that. But what do I want to do? Um, well, I want to get stuff planted. At the end of each round over here, there's stuff that happens. So like this first one, everybody gets shed. Then it rains, farmer market, farmer market rain, farmer market shed, farmer market rain. So these will happen at the end of each round. I, mean, I want to get stuff planted, but like I said, I want to focus on the shed a decent amount. So I'm going to take the number four. So first, um, I'm going to plant some stuff in four. So I'm going to start working on probably the, what was the other thing? Hold on, I need to remember something. The perennial I want to focus on the most is the, um, the daffodil and the however you pronounce that one, which are these two in section six. So I wanna keep an eye on those and make sure I could try to 
get those if I can. Um, sorry, so four, I get to plant two. So I'm gonna just grow some, uh, some of the squash. So I'll do that one, which gets me a good. And then I guess I'll go ahead and plant, now I'll do another squash. I'll go plant some corn, I'm not gonna do it. So then I did the garden action, now I could do the shed action which like I said, I wanna do the wheelbarrow. Um, I got one part of that going, so that's pretty nice. Farmer Edith, the AI is gonna go now. They always start with this spot here on the track. They'll take a die here, and if they don't, if they can't, then it'll just go clockwise until they can't take one. So they're gonna grab the two, and on their turn, they're gonna come through and try to just screw up my garden. So they're gonna come to the two spot here and just smash my squash. And now I can't, uh, since I didn't start building that yet or start growing that, I just can't. So then, let's see, they did that. And then this was in the fruit or apiary. So since this was a two and it was in the apiary section, they're cro crossing out the topmost honey. All right, back to my turn. On the second die of each round, I have to always pick the lowest one. So I'm gonna be picking the three from plant or water. So three, I'm gonna plant first. I'll do one, two, and then I can do that basically again, and I'm just gonna plant some corn. So that was my turn. Now they're gonna go. The AI is gonna take the last three. So that means they're coming over here. They always slash uh, the corn first. If not, I believe it's, now I forget. I kind of have some papers over here. It's the pumpkin first, and then the corn, and then the beans. So pumpkin's already good, so then they're gonna slash the corn, and then they're gonna do it again. So, <clears throat> that's that. <clears throat> um, that's the end of the round, so now we do the end of round action, which is taking the shed action over here, and I'm gonna fill in the second spot for the wheelbarrow and gain a good because now anytime I take the shed action over here, I get a good. That's it for year one or round one, year one. I've been playing too much Hadrian's Wall. Um, yeah, we roll these up and go on to the next round. So we got a lot of twos. So all three of these twos are going on the compost spot. Four is going on the apiary and fruit. Farmers move into shed time and we're on our way with round two since it's an even round. The AI goes first, no dice there, so they're going around, they're taking the two on compost. So that means they're gonna mess up something in my two spot, so just one of my corn stalks. They're taking out, and then the compost and good, they cross off one of my bonus stars, which is unfortunate, because that's kind of one of the things I'm gonna be trying to gunning. I'm gonna be trying to go for here in this game, so yeah, that's some, those, those bonus stars are really gonna help. Um, okay. What do I want to do? One compost, four goods. I might do that. I don't have anything planted in two, so maybe... I'm going to be able to do that second round anyway. Do I want to plant anything in four? It's going to rain at the end of the year. I go four, I could do... Yeah, plant some stuff there, and then take the apiary fruit action. I'll I like the apiary action, so I'll take the four. Um, we do the garden action first, so I'll do... Plant that and that, some corn and some pumpkin. And then I take the apiary action up here. So I fill in the first spot. Sweet, uh, the AI goes again, they're taking two again. So they're crossing off something else over here, some more corn, I guess. And then crossing off another one of my bonus stars. That really sucks because those bonus stars were gonna be kind of, um, I don't know, a part of my whole plan here to try to combo off these goods down here. They're already crossing them off, so that's not too great. Uh, last die I get to take is the two on the compost goods. So in the two section, I'll just plant some corn because that's, that's really all I can do. And then I get one compost. And was it four good? One, two, three, four. I didn't really mention this over earlier. The compost down here, these are just things you gain and you can use them to adjust die values uh, throughout the game, which is pretty handy. Uh, so right now I have two compost. That is the end of this round. So now it's going to rain. So that means everywhere in my garden will grow uh, one spot up. So I don't have anything in one. 
and two, my corn's gonna grow a bit. So let's see, three, corn's growing, corn's growing, pumpkin's growing, pumpkin grew. So that one gets me a good. Section four, let's see, we got that growing, that growing, my corn growing, nothing in five, nothing in six. So nice, I uh, love to see some rain. Now we're on to round three. At the end of this round, there will be a farmer's market. So I wanna make sure I have a decent amount of goods for that to take advantage of it. So it's gonna be two threes on shed time and two fours on farmer's market. Since this is an odd round, I get to go first, which I think I wanna take those shed times. Well, because I wanted to get the rain barrel. That's not gonna be super helpful this year. Fancy labels would be better. So maybe I should switch up my order a bit and go for fancy labels first. Because it's basically then with the fancy labels, uh, whenever I take at the farmer's market, yeah, I just get an extra um, perennial action whenever I, have, whenever I go to the farmer's market. So I would like that. See, so yeah, I'm gonna take the, oh, I need to move. Farmer Edith over there. Okay, so I'm gonna take the three. Do I wanna adjust it at all? Grow anything else? Do I wanna grow some beans? Three, I could bump it down to a two. There's nothing good there. A four, I could. Yeah, I'll spend a compost, make that a four and just plant uh, two corn and four instead. Awesome, now it's shed. I could take a shed action, so I'm going to mark off one of the fancy labels, and then because of my wheelbarrow, I get it good. So now, I didn't think about that. It's now the AI's turn, and they're taking the other three on shed time. That's unfortunate, but whatever. So they're going to mark off something in my three. Um, at this point, they're marking off beans, which I can choose, so I'm just going to have them mark off the ones that are already part of a corn that's marked off. And then the three on this shed time is the pitchfork. Okay, good. I'm glad it's not one of the things I want. It's where's the pitchfork over here? Gone. They just came in my shed and I don't know, just snap the pitchfork over their knee or something. Uh, maybe they stole my pitchfork. I don't know what's going on, but um, I have to take the four. So I'm going to take that. And I think I will use my other compost to make it a five to plant some stuff over here. So one, two. And that was on the farmer's market. So now, how much do I have? Only four. Oh, I only have enough for the four. So I get a compost and a perennial action. Now, which one do I want to do? I mean, I want to do that, but that's not going to really help me at this point. Getting more goods won't really help me. I could get more compost. Yeah, I'm just gonna go with getting the high, high, I don't even, I'm not even gonna, I don't know how to pronounce some of these. Um, but I'll just get the two goods and be good with that. So that was mine. Then they're doing this last farmer's market. So they're crossing off something in my four area. Uh, they can't cross off pumpkins or corn. So they'd be crossing off beans. I'll just go with the top one, I guess. And then that was in the farmer's market, so they're crossing off the top, uh, the one I wanted. So now I can't get the big points for that one, but what are you gonna do? So end of the round, everybody takes the far farmer's market action. I only have enough right now. I still don't have the fancy label yet, so um, unfortunately, yeah, I'm only getting another perennial and a compost. Which compost is nice, very handy. Uh, the other perennial action, I mean, I guess I'll, I'll take a daffodil and start working towards the rain barrow, barrel. And yeah, that's it for round three. We're on to round four. These dice shake here, see what's going on. So pumpkin, this dice of pumpkin, that's a one. So we got one on that, threes on that, fives over there, farmer moves to there. And then 
This is an even round, so they go first. So they're taking the one on the apiary or fruit. They're going to cross off that pumpkin. And so that was a one on apiary. They're crossing off the topmost honey on my apiary. Okay. It's my turn now. Um, five. Yeah, I'll take... I'll take the shed time five, use a compost to make that a six, so I can plant the two pumpkins in the six area. And then this was shed, so I can use that to uh, take another, finish off the rain barrel, which is super nice. And that'll get me another good. I don't think I got a good when I did that a hot second ago, so I'll, I'll grab another good. Um, it's back to them. They're going to take the three die. And that's going to cross off something over here. I guess at this point it's going to be some more beans. And then, where was that one? That was on plant or water. So they're just doing it again. Um, I guess they're doing it to that one. And then I get this one. I could plant or water three. Um, I could do that twice. I do have some compost, but not, not really. I don't know. Um, I guess I'll plant and then water. Yeah, I'll plant just to get this one bean down and then I'll water. So I get that, which will give me two goods. And that gives me a bonus. which I'll get a raspberry with. And that'll give me one, two, three. Okay, now we're gonna start doing some combos. And then because I did both of those, I'll get this, uh, this one. And that will give me one of these down here, which will give me two more, and will give me another thing to do. So I'm gonna go do an apiary action to get another raspberry and fill in more goods down here. I have a lot of goods now, this is great. I think that's uh, that's it for my whole big turn. Yeah, so end of the year, end of the round I mean, uh, it's raining now. So area one, nothing. Area two, my corn is gonna grow a bit. Area three, let's see, my corn's growing, beans growing, corn's growing. Area four, my pumpkin over here finished growing. So that's three goods. And I get a cro crocus, crocus uh, which gives me two composts. I also got a star to do another thing, uh, which I'm gonna fill in a raspberry to get three, one, two, three, to get another star to do another thing. I'll just go up here for the apiary. I'm just priming this this uh, combo up here because the next spot on the apiary is two fruit, which I can get two raspberries, and that would just bump me up the goods track a ton. So I did that. Uh, I, th I don't think I did this one. Then that's growing corn, corn. This one down here grows. I get a good from that. This one grows corn. This pumpkin grows, this pumpkin grows. And we're on to round five. So that's a one on this one. Two twos over here, four is over there, farmer moves here. This is an odd round, so I get to go first. Okay, no, this is good. I'm gonna take the one. Do the garden action first to plant some pumpkins. That'll give me a good. And then that was on the one compost and four goods. One, two, three, four. And I got a star to do a bonus thingy. Um, and I think I'm gonna do that thing I was talking. So I'm gonna do the apiary to get two fruit and mark off two raspberries to get six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, that gives me another another action I could do. And I'm of course gonna get some more raspberries 
to go one, two, three. And I got another free action. So what to do now? I could start putting more in my shed. Uh, what is, is there just a farmer's market? I really should, yeah. So I'll do a shed action. Sweet, that was a lot of combo-y goodness right there. So AI goes, they're gonna do two. So what are they marking off over here? Some corn. And then they were on apiary or fruit. So they did fruit to the rightmost apple is what they're marking off. Back to me, I have to take this two. And this was on apiary or fruit. <clears throat> Um, so yeah, I guess I'll grow some beans here in two, and then apiary or, or fruit. Hmm. I'll do apiary to get to like the little last spot here so I can start like branching in the other. I guess I can zoom in a little bit. <clears throat> so yeah, I can, now that I'm there, I can either branch to the wax, the honey, or the split hive. Um, what's nice about the wax is it gives me a decent amount of goods. So that'll really help me with my whole combo we plan down here. Um, so I took that and then the AI is taking this. So they're gonna smash up my four garden. Um, so they're just ruining my beans and then the shed trimmers is what they're ruining. Where's the trimmers? They stole my trimmers. Oh, right here, the string trimmers, gone. Um, but at least I have the rain barrel made. So that's done, they did that. And that's the end of the round. Oh wait, I did, I had the rain barrel before last year when it rained, right? So I think I got to, I should have been able to do that again after rain water a zone. I had that done last year, right? Cause that was the whole point. I forget, I'll, I'll let it be. I should have probably done that at the end of the last round when it rained, but cause I'm pretty sure I had that rain barrel made cause that was the whole thing I was like gunning for. Um, so yeah, now it's the farmer's market. How many, how many things do I have? Like over 35? I don't even know where the, so I have 40. So I get two perennials and a compost. So I get a compost, two peren perennial actions. Um, well, I could get two of these to do a shed and that'll let me do one more. I'll just go another perennial shed and I'll start working towards a new tractor. And I think the rest of my new tractors will be over there. So that was what, one, two up there? So that's two more goods for me as well. I need to remember that. Yeah, because of my, what was the first thing I built? The wheelbarrow that gets me goods every time I use a shed action. So pretty sweet, pretty sweet. I think that's it though. So we're on to round six. Let's see how this goes. So even round, they're gonna be going first. So got one, all different ones this time. That's something. Got that there, they move over there and we're, uh, we're on our way. So yeah, even round, they go first, starting with apiary. So they're taking that one. I'm marking off something in my three. There's nothing to mark off. So they're just gonna pound sand, I guess. And then apiary. Topmost wax is what they're crossing off. That's unfortunate because the wax is what I was gonna go for, but what are you gonna do? So at this point, I wanna get as many goods now as possible. Um, farmer's market might not be bad to do. Hmm. I just wanted to try to see how I could get some goods. Farmer's Market really wouldn't get me any because that would get me two perennial actions. I can get two goods with that, but it's not enough. Hmm, I'm trying to think here. Um, there's a lot of good options. Do plant and water in four. And that would get me three. Is it gonna, when's it gonna rain? We have one more rain at the end of round eight. So I need to remember the rain barrel for that, but 
Let me think about this for a hot second. Um, the shed, I don't really need more shed stuff right now. What I need is goods. And the best way I could get goods is fruit. I need three goods. How can I get three goods? By watering four? But they're gonna take... It's tough. Get that and that'll get me two goods. There's no other way for me to get goods, is there? Shoot, this is unfortunate. Um, and I was gonna say like, I could take that, but then they're gonna take that. And I guess I would be left with that. Maybe that wouldn't be the worst. Okay, I'll do that. This may not be the best idea in the world. I'll use this for, to water this area. So everything gets watered a little bit. That gets me three goods. So I have a bonus thing. I also got a daffodil, because that's in between there. So that gets me a shed action. So I'll just keep working towards the new tractor at this point. And and that also gets me another good. And I have a bonus thing I get to do. Um, what is the bonus thing I want to do? I guess I'll go up here. Go get one, two. So now it's AI's turn. They're going to take the six die. So they're marking off something over here. I guess just corn. Then they're going to smash the casserole dish over here boom and then finally i get this which is actually pretty good so one uh, i'm gonna plant some stuff i guess because i'd have really not a whole lot planted in one and then i get to do the farmer's market this is gonna be good because i have above 50 at this point so i get Two, I get three perennials with my fancy label. I get three perennial actions and a fruit action. This is going to be kind of crazy. Three perennials and a fruit. So let me use two perennials. So I still have another perennial. Now I have a bonus thing I get to do. I still have a separate fruit. I have a perennial and a fruit and a bonus action at this point. Um, the bonus one, I'll go up here. One, two, three, four. The fruit, I'll go here. One, two, three. So I still have a perennial and another bonus action. So I'm going to, of course, take the bonus action to do this. Go one, two, three. Get another bonus action. I still have a perennial action. I'm going to do another raspberry and go one, two, three. Um, then I still have a perennial action I can do. Which at this point, I'll just finish off the daffodils just to get the victory points at the end. And yeah, that was, that was something. And so with that, it's the end of the round. Take the shed action. What do I want to do in the sh with a shed action? I guess nothing really. Nothing really. Uh, I'm just going to put it towards my new tractor and get another good for doing so. On to round seven. Let's see what kind of crazy rolls we get. So we got two, two, five, six, farmer moves down there. Uh, what is this? This is an odd round, so I get to choose first. Sweet. So I'm going to take this one off the two, this one of these twos, and I'm going to probably use a, um, use a compost to change that into a one. I'm going to water this area. And then that was on one compost. 
and I get what, four goods? One, two, three, four. And now I get a bonus thing. The amount of bonus goods I can get. I've used I've abused my whole bonus combo to, to death here. Um wait, I just get one perennial, right? I'm doing four goods. I could do anything, but I mean I wanna yeah, I'll do a perennial. Do the iris. Give me an extra compost. Got lots of compost, so that's always uh, always good to have on hand. So they're going, they're gonna be taking the two. That's what's that, they're gonna be crossing off my next bonus star to stop me from just doing my crazy combo here. And they're gonna be, what else? Oh, two, so they're smashing something into territory. I guess just some beans at this point. Back to me, I have to take this five, apiary or fruit. I'll go, uh, yeah, apiary. Or actually, I'll go fruit. Start getting towards the peaches. And that's a five, so I get to do something in the five area. I'll just plant some more corn, I guess. And then they're going last. They're taking six. What are they smashing? Six, just some corn. Shed action, mulch. They're just kicking my pile of mulch, making it useless. And now we're taking the farmer's market action at the end. Let's see how many I have. So I have what's 50, do I have 60? How is this? I wish I could actually see across these out. I can't tell. Oh, maybe I can just flip this over. How many do I have? Right there. So I am past 70, so I get the max. I'm at the ma I'm maxed out on my farmer's market. That's sweet. So that means I get three perennial actions and just a bonus action to do now. Um, that's kind of busted. So three perennial actions, okay. Um, first I'll plant and water in a zone and I'll plant, uh, plant some corn in six, three perennial actions. I'll do second one. I'll do tulip to get a fruit and I'll get a peach to water, um, six. That'll get me two goods. And my last perennial, I'm gonna use this to get two goods per peach harvested, which is four. So one, two, three, four. That does let me get a bonus thing to do. Now what do I wanna do with that bonus? Might just take a shed action, work towards a new tractor. Go work in the shed a bit. Yeah, yeah, I'll go work in the shed. Work towards getting a new tractor. Um, I think I'm through everything at this point, hopefully. I might have missed something on my end, but I think I got everything. And we're on to the last year, or last round, I guess, uh, round eight. So there's a four, four, six, six. They're going over there. Since this is an even round, they're going first. So they're gonna be taking the six on apiary. No corn to cross off, so they're just crossing off beans. And a six on apiary means they're crossing off the top of the split hive. So they're taking that, it's on me now. And yeah, I'm probably gonna grab the farmer's market because then I could just get that twice. So I'll take the farmer's market. I'll compost that to a five so I can water, no plant. 
and then that was on farmer's market which means i get the old three perennials and a bonus action um three perennials and a bonus action so bonus action or just like the free action or whatever i'll do the peach so three perennials um first second and i'll get three goods per peach so i get one two three four five six seven eight nine so right now i still have a perennial and two extra actions to do um at this point i don't know just get an apple i still have two extra little bonus things to do um i'll get some peaches to water somewhere i'll water five I have another act bonus thing. I'll go up here on the apiary. All right. That was just my one farmer's market. I get to do that again here in a second because they're going six and fruit again. So they're going to be crossing off um, more beans and then apiary, the topmost of the split hive. And then I get the four in the farmer's market again. At this point, I'm going to once again compost this to a five, but I'm going to plant. Uh, one and two and then I get to do farmer's market again which means I get three perennials and a bonus action thing again so the bonus thing I'll just go in the split hive plant in any zone okay I'll plant right there so I still get three perennials to do I don't know. I'll go one, two to max out on that, and three for compost, I guess. It's like just, just too much. And that was the last thingy. So now it's gonna rain. Um, and I need to remember my rain barrel this time. Oh shoot, I goofed. I should have tried to finish that new tractor. Said I was getting apples and planting a, a single thing i should have tried to finish the tractor because that's 18 points and i was two away I, I totally could have done it if i wasn't well can i still retroact back i might because all i did was plant zone so i'll just kind of cross that out like i didn't do that and that i didn't do that and those were like my two things over here and instead I want to put those into there. Yeah, to get that tractor. I meant to do that because I was all, like I was working towards that. See, I'm scratching off that apple. Never got that apple. Never planted that up here. So that means this bean does not exist. Okay. Yeah, I wretched that back a bit, but yeah, that's what I wanted to do in the first place. And that tractor is a hefty amount of points. So it's gonna rain one last time, and then we'll do final scoring. So up here in area one, this will complete this. So I'll get two goods for that. And then I can place Hydrangea. Which one's those? That doesn't really get me anything. Area two, beans grow, corns grow, corn grow, beans grow. Area three, let's see, corn's done, corn is done. Area four, uh, let's see, this corn finishes, corn finishes. Area five, got beans and some corn, beans and fully corn. And corn's grown a little bit more. And then area six, this finishes. That gets me three goods. One, two, three. And I get a Hycynthia, or Hayeth. I don't even know how to, Hycynthia, that's not even, probably close. Um, I have a bonus thing I can do somewhere. I have no idea what I wanna do. I'll just do a thing down here. Iris, sure. I don't really know. Um, so I did that. Oh, this still grows there and there. And then I can, um, 
I have my rain barrel so I can grow in one more area. And I guess I'll go five to go that, that, and that. So three corn finishes off. And with that, that's, that's the end of the game. And now I got to do some final scoring. So hopefully I'll do this part right. I mean, it has it pretty nicely broken down um, over here. So I score points for my garden first. So I have to kind of just go each section uh, one at a time here. So first section, that's a, it's a big goose egg. Uh, this part, three, six, seven, eight. This part, three, six, seven. It may not be the easiest to see. The main thing I'm scoring points for is you get three points for your corn that's grown and then one point for any beans. So that's kind of what I'm scoring for. So three, six, nine. And this area, three, six, nine, 12, 13, 14. And what do we got down here? Nothing. So at eight, 15 plus nine is 24, plus 14 is what, 38? Did I do that right? 15, 24, 38. That seems legit. Perennials, so I get one per fruit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So that's 13 plus, yeah, that's all I get for perennials It's 13. Still not, not bad. Um, apiary, two, four, and seven. Fruit, two, what is this? The six from those, seems like it. And then finally the shed, I get two, four, seven, plus 18 is 25. Yeah, I'm gonna need a calculator to do that. That that math right there. Um, so that's what, 38 plus 13 plus seven plus six plus 25, 89. It's my final score. If I uh, if I did that all right, and I think there should be a little table with telling me how badly I did. Okay, yeah, here we go. So the end of the game. So 89, that puts me at, um, wow. According to this, I've become an internet famous blogger. <laughs> okay. So my gardens, my gardening career is so popular that I, I've become an internet famous blogger. So that's something. Um, yeah. So I think I'm going to, I'm gonna take a real quick mini break and I think I'll do one more quick round of this because I really enjoy this game. Uh, that was a pretty fun round and it doesn't take terribly long. So yeah, I'm gonna take a quick mini break and then I'll play one more quick game of this.
<clears throat> Hello everybody, welcome back. I'm Thomas, this is Soul Gaming Sunday, Nature Edition. Back with some three sisters, got everything set up for another game. Let's just hop right into it. This first year, first round, uh, I will be the first one going since it is an odd round. Get these going around the board here. Move the farmer to their proper spot and we're uh, on our way. So I think I kind of outlined, I want to kind of try to do a similar shed strategy, try to actually remember when I make the rain barrel to use it. But besides that, I'm just gonna give it another go. That's like the only main thing I'm focusing on. So Farmer Edith is gonna grab both of those threes, both times, if they can. So I could do a double plant in four and the shed time in six. They're only gonna mark stuff off in three. That seems fine. See, so yeah, I'll take four first. No, no, no. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to do what I want. I'm gonna take the six die first, mainly because um, I can start on the pumpkins over here. So I'll plant both of those. I can take a shed action, uh, start working towards that wheelbarrow. And yeah, first die gone. They're gonna take the three off their thing, mark off tallest pumpkin that I have. And then since it's a three in apiary, that means they are crossing off the topmost wax. So that's unfortunate. Back to me, I always have to take the lowest one. So I'm taking the three. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and try to plant the other pumpkin and some corn. Now I can take the apiary or fruit action. I'll go ahead and just start working on the apiary. Then they're gonna take the last die. Area four, they're marking off my largest pumpkin. And since it's there, they're gonna do it again, mark off pretty much both tall pumpkins in area four. That is the end of round one, taking the shed action. I will now have my wheelbarrow, which will give me a good for, uh, for getting it. We're on our way already to round two. We'll just fly through this game. So do the one right there, the two right there, three on shed, whoops, four on farmers, and then move farmer back to their favorite spot over there. So then they go first, so they're taking the one. So they're crossing off that, and then they're crossing off the first bonus star, so they're gonna stop my bonus star shenanigans at least for a little bit until I can get some more goods going. So they're gonna take that one. So I guess it really doesn't matter if I take Okay, this might be a mistake, but I'm a so I'm gonna take the three from shed. I'm gonna plant some corn because I need that corn going, and then I'm gonna use the shed action to uh, to get some mulch. That'll get me a good for doing that. Because then they're gonna go two, so they're crossing off my one and only pumpkin and two. And what, since this is fruit, they're crossing off the rightmost apple. That leaves me with the four down here, uh, which is fine. I don't have anything planted in four, so I'll plant a pumpkin and some corn. That gets me some goods. And then I can use the rondelle action, but I can choose not to. And instead of going farmer's market and just getting one compost because of mulch, I can choose to take a perennial action instead which is what I plan to do.
And it's still not gonna help me. I thought I was gonna be able to do some like cool stuff with getting that rain barrel. Nope, <laughs> not quite. Uh, if there was a farmer's market before this rain, I'd be able to, but there's really no way for me to get two shed actions. If they didn't cross off that bonus star, I might've been able to get it, but nope. So I'll just do the closest I can. I'll get a daffodil marked off and um, still take a shed action. Do I even, do I even go towards the rain barrel? I can't get it at this point. It's not gonna rain again till four. I'll start working towards the fancy, uh, the fancy labels for the farmer's market extra perennial action. Cause that seems really good. So did that last round and yeah, that's it for this round. It's going to rain everywhere. Don't have too much planted right now. So three, will get a bit of rain. That'll grow this. That gets me a good Let's see four that grows. This grows, that grows. I don't have a rain barrel, so I don't get any bonuses. So yeah, we're just on our way to uh, round number three. Roll those up. That was kind of a weird roll, but whatever. Two and a six. Uh, it's odd, so odd round means I go first. So there's gonna be a farmer's market, so I do wanna focus on getting some shed stuff. Yeah, I'm not sure what the best thing to do here is. I'm gonna take the six and uh, plant some corn up here because I really don't have any. And then I get to take some, a shed action. I guess I'll work more towards the fancy labels. So they're going now, they're gonna take the one, cross off my pumpkin, taking the apiary action with a one. That's the topmost honey they're crossing off. Back to me, I have to take the one. Um, I'll go ahead and plant some stuff in my garden. So I'll plant the one pumpkin to get me a good, the other one to get a corn, apiary or fruit. nothing I can do can there there's nothing I can do <laughs> this is frustrating apiary or fruit I'll do the apiary or I can just take a perennial action instead of the rondelle action but the run the, that's still not much better that sucks I'm so, I was like, literally, I think just one good off, which is really unfortunate. Because I could do this to get a fruit, right? And I could get raspberries, my favorite. I mean, not really my favorite, but in this game, they're my favorite. And yeah, I'm just one good short from getting that bonus. And that bonus, I would be able to get the fancy labels to use at this farmer's market. There's nothing I can do, though. Yeah, so they're gonna uh, take this last one at two, start just smashing my corn down. End of the year farmer's market, I'm at least at four goods, so I'll get a perennial and a compost. Um, a perennial. A perennial, I'll, I'll use use it to, uh, to get these, which will get me two goods. Um, which will get me a bonus thing to do. I'll get my fancy label. And it lets me get an extra at the farmer's market, which I'm currently doing. I'm going to allow it. I don't know if that's... A th I'm just going to go ahead and <laughs> give me the bonus. I don't know if that's a thing I can really do, but... It's close enough, you know. I will get two more goods, so I'm right on the edge to get another bonus star, which will be very handy if I could pull off that combo. So we're now into round four. 
This is an even round, so the AI will be going first. It'll be raining at the end of this round, so I'd like to hopefully get the rain barrel going beforehand. But that's that's gonna be two shed actions to try to do before then, and that's that's not an easy ask sometimes. So they're gonna be taking the one, um, cutting down some corn. That's a one on the apiary, which means topmost honey is gone. It's now my turn. Could do the shed. Could do the shed. I have nothing planted in five, which isn't ideal. Um, so maybe I'll do the shed with compost. Yeah, I'll take the six, compost it to make it a five and plant some stuff down there. The shed, I will go ahead and get one towards the rain barrel get me a good which I could do something else with and I'll finish the rain barrel that's nice they're gonna be taking the one again smashing up my corn apiary fruit once again a one with apiary just means they're crossing off the topmost honey that leaves me with a two on plant or water so I'll go ahead and do plant plant compost to do it again and plant some beans over here seems like a decent idea it's the end of the round so it's going to rain let's do one first two area three is going to get some rain that those beans are going to grow right off the way uh, area four gets a little bit five gets me a good that happens six Corn and corn, this, and that gets me two goods. I also don't know if, what that song is. It's more just like ambiance or whatever. Um, and then I have the rain barrel. I need to remember that so I can water a zone again. Got a lot of options. I think I'll do area six. So water area six again, mainly because it gets me three goods for finishing that off, which means I get, um, I also get this, that, that, whatever, however you pronounce that one. And I get a bonus thing to do, which of course I'm gonna take the raspberries, get three goods, and now I got another bonus, which I'll put that towards the apiary. So I can get that double uh, raspberries maybe next round and that'll be super sweet. Now on to round five. Boom. So we got one there, two there, five and six. Uh, is an odd round, so I get to choose first. I mean, at this point, I got my three main items in the shed. I do have the mulch. I need to remember that. So I can choose to forego my rondel action for a perennial. But I don't really want to do that right now. The only other thing I want to build in the shed is the tractor, which I could just slowly work towards with extra shed actions that I have. So it's going to be a farmer's market at the end of this. Yeah, I don't know. What do I, what, what do, I want to do? <laughs> Um, one, that area is pretty messed up. Do I want, so I might take this, the two shed. Yeah, the two shed. Um, so the two, will I keep that at two? Yeah, I'll just plant two beans. I'll plant one bean and one corn. And then the shed, I will just work towards the tractor. And that'll get me um, get me a good because of the shed thing. They're gonna go for six, and that's on ape area fruit. So in the area six, they're gonna be knocking down some corn, and then ape area with a six is the top of the split hive. They're just knocking that over. Back to me. I have to take the one. I'm gonna, oh, I can't even compost it to a two. That's not good. I mean, I guess I can plant one thing in here. I'll just plant some beans. 
And then that was on what? That was on Ape Barrier Fruit, I believe. Um, yeah, that, whoops, just knocked the mic. I think they should be here. Because the five, the six, no, they should be over here. I never moved them because it was the two, the one, the two, five, six. They should be there. Yeah, I never moved them. Um, so I get what apiary fruit. So I did the thing in the one apiary fruit. I'll get two fruit and I'm gonna grab two raspberries. <laughs> so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, which I have a bonus action I can do something with. Uh, of course, I'm gonna get more raspberries. One, two, three. Have another bonus thing to do something with. And at this point, I'll go apiary again. Sweet. Um, so then th this is theirs. So they're gonna be messing up my five area. I'm just knocking over some corn. And then that was in the farmer's market. They're crossing off the top of the, this one that I, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce some of these. I feel like I'm just embarrassed myself. Um, then we're at the farmer's market. Let's see how many points I have. I have at least, do I have at least 35? I think I have exactly 35. So I get three perennials and a compost. So I'll go one to get two goods. I think I'm just gonna finish off these two, three, just make sure I get those victory points. Yeah, so on to round six. We're just flying through this. Lots of threes, okay. Four, farmer moves up there. Even rounds, so they go first. They're gonna be taking the three and doing some, some big damage to that. It's my turn. I'm probably just gonna take the shed, because why not? Do that. Area four. I'll plant some corn there. Sure, sure. They're gonna go three and mess up some stuff in three. Mess up the beans. That's all they can mess up. Uh, back to me. I'm gonna take that. Can I, um, hmm, I do have a compost. I don't know. What do I water or what do I, I could water two or four. I'll, I'll water four, I'll use a compost and water four. And I guess I'll also water three because I can do like two, right? Because I was on the, yeah. Okay. Um, end of the round action, take the shed action, get an extra good from that. We're on to round seven. Roll these up. We got one on this spot, three over here, six on the shed time, farmer moves down here. It's an odd round, so I, this is the last round I get to go to, I get to choose to go first. I'm gonna choose this one. Can't compost it. Well, Choose the one. I, I will get a compost with it along with four goods. One, two, three, four. I have a bonus thing to do. I'm gonna take the iris bonus, which will give me another compost. So I could turn that one, let me double check. I don't know if I can compost a one into a six. I think I can, but I kind of forget. It probably specifies. And that's the goods, where's compost? Can wrap around from a six to a one. I kind of, forgot that's a thing. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna compost this one to a six and use it down here to plant some beans. So that's mine. They're gonna go with the three and that's a fruit. So three, nothing to mark off. Three on fruit is the rightmost peach is what they're marking off. 
And it's back to me. I have to take, of course, the lowest one, which is the six shed time. So I'll mark that off. That area six, what do I want to do? And I'll just plant. And then finally, they're going to be taking six. So they're marking off mulch. I already got it. And then over here, if I have all the corns, so there's marking off a bean. Okay. It's the end of round six, farmer's market. This is going to be good farmer's market. Because what am I at? Um, yeah, this is a, just a, that's the nice thing about these papers. They're just double-sided and they have, um, yeah, you can just play twice. So I just, that's, that's my previous game on the back there. I was just looking to try to get a better view of this. This is 50. I forget what some of these are. So that's 40. So that's 20, 30, or that's 40. That's 20, 30, 40, 50. Just trying to see how much I have. Gosh dang it. Oh, I don't even have the box or have the way yes, I do. I just can't see when I mark off what the heck my score is. And I'm just, okay, so it is like 43. Okay, not bad. I just wanted to double check that. So 43 gets me three perennial actions and a compost. So three perennials, that's pretty good. So first I'll use a fruit tulip to go with the peaches. Um, second, I'm gonna go with the daffodil and third I'll go with the daffodil with another shed, which gets me a good. Okay, round eight, final round. At the end of this round, there's gonna be some rain, which I'm ready for. But let's roll this up and see what it's gonna be. So we got two, three, four, four. So that's two, three, whoops, four, four. And the farmer Edith goes up there. Final round, even round, they go first. They're gonna go three, nothing's really gone up here. Three apiary, so they're gonna be marking off the top most wax. That top shelf wax. Um, I think I wanna do the farmer's market. Yeah. Two, do I want to compost that into anything? Not really. I'll just, I'll, uh, I'll plant a bean at two and then yeah, it's a farmer's market. So I will get uh, the old three perennials and a compost. So first perennial, Take the shed action, finish up my tractor, get a good. Uh, second perennial, just take the shed action again. I'm just gonna go finish that third. And I still have a bonus thing. So I'll go. Go harvest, I'll do some peaches. And water somewhere. I don't know. Water two. Water. I'll do that and that. So this was an even round. So they went first. So they're gonna go mess up area four. And they're messing up both beans over there. And then the final dice I get is number four. So I get to plant or water uh, up there. So I'm definitely going to compost for five. To at least do that. Plant or water, sell water in four as well. And then that's it. Final end of the round thing. I'm gonna, it's gonna rain. Let's go to each spot here. So that corn's growing, corn's growing. 
How are we doing? Corn's growing, corn's growing. That's growing, that's growing, that's growing. Down here in six, beans, corn, beans, corn, all, all good. I don't know if I ever got this hydrangea, but I was supposed to get an apple, I guess. Um, and because of my rain barrel, I can um, do one more thing. I can, I can water one more area. I'm just trying to see where I want to water. Uh, it doesn't really matter. It's either two or two or five, and it's going to be the same regardless. So I'll just go with two. I think with that, all done with this game. So let's uh, let's figure out what the final score is again. Hopefully better than last time. What did I get last time? I already forget. Was it 89? 89, yeah. So can I be 89? That's the question. So this gets me one point. I got three, six, nine, 10, 11 from here. Three, six, seven, oh wait, three, six, nine, 10, 11 from this. Three, six, nine, 10. Area five, I get zero. I'm gonna skip this song. I don't like this song. I meant to remove it. I remember I got annoyed last stream at that song. Um, three, six, seven, eight for this area. So what is that total? 22, 23, 33, plus that is 41. Let me double check I did that right. Right, 20, 22, 23, 33, 33 plus eight is 41. How'd that compare last time? Garden, a little bit better, three points better. So off to a good start. Uh, perennials, I don't think I'd got nearly as much. 14 points. Which last time, and we got 13. Okay, still doing better, still doing better. Uh, apiary, I think I did a lot worse. I got zero points for my apiary. Then fruit. I also think I did a lot worse this time. I only got one. With shed, I got two, four, seven, eight, plus 18, 26. So what is that total to? I can actually do that pretty easy. So it's what, 30, 40, plus 42, is that 82? Let me triple check this. I don't, I don't trust my mental math too much here. So 41 plus uh, 14 plus one plus 26, 82. So that's what I said. Okay, um, not bad. What does an 82 put me at? Is that still an internet famous blog or whatever? Uh, 82, yes, I've become an internet famous blogger. What did I get last time? 89, see I definitely did a bit better on my fruits and apiaries last time I did better on my gardens and perennials and shed shed was slightly better fruit and apiaries really brought me down still 82 89 I mean the the, the highest the score is going here is to well, I guess they have 100 plus so that's the top category so really not too bad um but yeah I really enjoy both of these games a lot orchard I've played a ton of times because it's such a simple and small game to play this game is still fairly new to me um I've only gotten a handful of plays under my belt but i really enjoy it i mean i like the combo we feel of it i've really come to realize that the main combo aspect of this is in the goods so it's like you kind of want to focus on that but i do get kind of a combo we feel to this kind of like all like hadrian's wall there's a lot of like comboiness to that as well so yeah i, I think this is a, a very very solid and fun game but I think I'm going to end the stream there. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the stream, a like would be greatly appreciated. I'll be back next week doing another stream. So subscribe if you want to catch that or any of my other videos. And um, yeah, have a good one. And thanks for watching.